Hey guys, it's me Andrea with Sucks For You in Houston, Texas and I just wanted to show you guys like all the flowers that I have popping up in my collection. Um, like all my Horthias seem to be blooming right now. You can see all these over here. I have a Sansevieria that just finished blooming. This is an Astroloba. More Horthias. And then I have a lot of stuff that had flowers coming in, so that's going to be fun to look forward to. Oh, I just got, like, nectar on my hand. <laughs> um, by the way, Horthia nectar is very sweet, and I recommend you tasting it sometime. Uh, Sansevieria as well. You can see this flower just finished, but there's still a little bit of juicy juice on there. And it, it just tasted it. It's really sweet, and I'm, like, almost addicted to tasting <laughs> the nectar on my plants and not just my plants apparently um i was at a nursery the other day new roots and they had a pretty sense of area inside and it was flowering and it had a lot of little nectar droplets on it and i was talking to the gal that worked there and just without thinking i reached out wiped a little droplet onto my finger and just licked it like like it was my plant <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I wasn't even thinking about that. Um, but yeah, you should try it too. And she's like, oh, we can do that? I was like, yeah, you should do it. It's really good. So she tried it. And then this other lady that works there, um, she's like, what's going on? And I was like, you're tasting the Sansevieria nectar. You should try it too. And she did. And she agreed. It was really good as well. And then we're just chatting. I just walk back over there and just lick it again. And I'm just like embarrassed but also you know they know why they tasted it too they agreed so anyways here's a horthia flower coming in but we're looking at flowers that are already popping it's a little echeveria i don't know exactly what kind and same with this little mammalaria i just don't know exactly what kind it is i think it's melanocentra it looks kind of like mine with a i have a, i had another one it's all wonky now um this is one of my favorites. There was a little flower on it. Mammillaria plumosa. And they're little white flowers. I don't see it open right now. But it smells so good. I really wish I could bottle it up and make that my signature fragrance. It would be amazing. And I'm really excited about this. It's the aloe vera vito. Super variegated. And it's flowering. It's gonna flower. Please flower. For my very first time since I got it. Who else? I think there's some stuff over here. Oh, this little dude, he's got some little pink flowers coming in. Some type of peanut cactus. What else? More Huertias flowering. These are really cool. Look. Hey. Look. And, of course, this awesome begonia, kachuma. Just crazy flowers. And I was thinking about chopping them off because the leaves are looking a little bit saggy. And, like, all these flowers might be stressing the plant out a bit. But I also want seeds from these. Look at this wild child. Massive leaves. Massive. Who else? Oh, we have... We have these coming in on this notocactus or parodia we're calling them parodias now and this is a parodia too a parodia rudimbenicari albissima i believe anybody else up here ah. and this these are all going to be coming in soon beautiful pink pink flowers on this um it is a Parodia Ubomaniana, and I will put the names up on the screen and in the video description so you can see how to spell these names, because this one is a mouthful. Ooh, I see some coming in on this Euphorbia. My husband got me. He says he got it for me, but <laughs> what do you guys think? There's some little tiny flowers coming in on this. This is the Medusa, Medusa head Euphorbia. So cool. 
And I almost forgot her. Look, this is the one that's going off the most. This is the old lady. Look at her. And I call her naughty because she like tilts towards the sun. I have to like turn this massive pot for her to <laughs> stand up straight, but I'm just gonna let her do this. Now look at that flower crown. My queen. And one thing I haven't really showed you guys yet is like my yard and I might just wait for that. That'll show you some of the stuff. This is a strawberry with pink flowers. And I got um I got one for me, one for my grandma, but I haven't seen her yet to give it to her. And this is the fuchsia. That's my husband. Coralville, Kalanchos. These are all hanging. Begonia. Isn't that crazy? That's like a different type of begonia flower, huh? Always keeping us on our toes. And then this is like a. Are you flowering? Yeah, there's a little flower on it. This is a thornless crown of thorns. Cool. My kind of thorned plant is not having any thorns. <laughs> And this is a thorny crown of thorns. Euphorbia milli or millii. And it's doing amazingly happy. A little bee. Get it, bee. Get it. And yeah, my husband has discovered his green thumb in the last year. And... He is into it. He is in very deep, which is why we have our own blue bonnet meadow. <laughs> he not only bought a ton of plants, but and put them in the ground like a few months ago. Um, he bought seeds and he put them everywhere. So I, you know, what? it's paid off. They're everywhere. They're they're literally everywhere, but. I'm really enjoying it. They're gorgeous and of course the pollinators love them and they're already going to seed. And this is what their seeds look like, their seed pods. They're like little fuzzy paws. So yeah, that's a small portion of our blue bonnets. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's crazy. He's crazy guys. But I love him. Look, more over there. Big, beautiful Abutilon. I saw these for my first time in Cusco, Peru. Pisac, Cusco, Peru. And I absolutely fell in love with them. And I came home and I found one. And I was just like, this, this is one of the most amazing plants. And I had it and I cut it up and gave some cuttings to my grandma. And then I lost mine like in a freeze. And she gave me some cuttings back. And then my husband just went out and bought a bunch. <laughs> so... Um, I don't really see much else flowering right now. There's a lot of good new growth coming in and the winter luckily didn't give us too much trouble. Oh, he, this is my husband's Barbados cherry bonsai. Yeah, so lots of plants going on lots of flowers coming in this one's really cool when it flowers the corn cob the euphorbia okay and i have to show you guys my new my new love mini african violets and i bought one and it was so happy so i bought a few more and i gave one to my friend and one for my grandma and they're just like so much fun and they're so cute and they're cheap and they're just like, yo, look at me. I'm flowering for you. And the camera, for some reason, makes these. I mean, and when I'm looking at them on the side, these look like purple. But the camera makes them look like super blue. It's so crazy. Let's see if this one does it too. Yep. Oh, it's so cool. And, like, I just bottom water them. And they're in a... You know, a window, it doesn't get a ton of light. I put, like, my cuttings and stuff up here. Maybe some, like, 
green onions and water if I'm not trying to store them in the fridge. Like, this is just kind of a, a funny little window, but ah, I really love them so much. They're so much. And, they, and like, I've joined a couple of the African Violet groups, and the people there are so nice. They're just sweet, sweet people. Okay guys, that's it for now. Next video will be hopefully checking out, actually these take a while to come in. I'm excited about them, but cactus flowers can they take their sweet time. But I am excited about seeing these. These are gonna be green flowers. Cannot wait to see those. And um, maybe we'll do like a little garden tour. See what all we've got in the ground. Again, most of this is my husband's project. It is, it's been great for him. <laughs> he loves digging the holes. He loves shopping for new plants. He loves troubleshooting stuff. It's super cute. Then I have like a little garden going down here. Herbs and some lame tomatoes. But anyways, we'll save that for another video, huh? And um, just one more thing, promise. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, if you could do that like now, that would be amazing because I am almost to 50,000 subscribers. I'm literally like maybe 300 away and um, it would really, 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 really be awesome if I could get to 50k. I mean, no rush, but <laughs> I've been doing this a while and it's never been like a huge goal of mine to, you know, have a ton of followers and stuff. But when you get that close to 50k, you want it, you want it bad. Thanks so much, guys. Y'all are fantastic people, and I hope you have a fantastic week and that your plants act right. <laughs>